Yo, 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 what is going on, people of YouTube? It's your boy, Pizza, and today I got a brand new tutorial on how to get a new screen recorder for your iOS device. It works for iPad, iPod, Touch, iPhone. If there's any other iOS device, I'm sure it would work for that also. But um, this is basically for 8.2 or 8.3. Um, it says it works all the way down to version 6.0 or something like that. I haven't tried it for that, so I'm not 100% sure if it worked but anyways the first thing you want to go ahead and do is make sure you're updated to the right software as you can see iOS 8.3 right there on the screen now after you do that after you go into general and do that I'm gonna put a link down in the description make sure you go click on it you can pause the video if you want to I'm literally going to be doing this as I'm making the video to show you exactly how you have to do it to get this screen to start recording. Anyways, after you click on the link, something like this should pop up on your iPad, iPhone, whatever you want the recorder on, and you wanna scroll all the way down until you see this app called Shao or Shu or however you wanna say it, Screen Recorder iOS 6 to 8.3, and then you wanna go ahead and click Install. Another screen should pop up and you click Install once again. Now after you click that, there should be a thing that pops up on your main home screen or desktop of your device. As you can see right there, it's loading. So I'm gonna fast forward this really quickly while it's loading so you guys don't have to wait through it. And I'll meet you guys in just a second. All right, sweet. Now that it is done downloading, whenever you go in there, it's going to ask you to turn on assistive touch. This is obviously for the quality and stuff of the games and apps that you're recording. You basically need it turned on or else it'll lag really bad and um, it won't show up right. So what you need to do is go into your settings, go to general once again, then click on accessibility as you can see right there. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. The third one up says assistive touch. As you can see, mine is turned on. If yours isn't, Go ahead and turn it on. It should make this thing turn on in the corner. You could uh, move it around and stuff, swipe it up and down. Um, obviously not that, but this right here. It stays on the sides of your device no matter what. So I uh, usually like putting it up in the top corner. Now it will show up in your video. There's really nothing you could do about it, but the good thing is the opacity of it is very low. So you really can't notice it that much, especially if it's in the top corner. Uh, that's where I usually like putting it. So after that is done, you can go ahead and back out of that and go ahead and click on the shout app obviously after that you want to go ahead and read that and in order for it to work you have to go ahead and press trust so we're going to go ahead and do that really quickly then after that it is going to ask you to sign in i'm already signed in on this you could use a google plus account facebook or you can make your own email and do it that way so i'm going to go ahead and press sign in and if you don't have an account which obviously you probably don't yet you're going to have to go and do that before you could access the actual app now, as you can see, there's two different things broadcast. That's a thing that actually works now. Um, it might make you download this uh, Shao TV app, which looks something like this right here on your device. And that's for broadcasting and stuff. You could broadcast your videos uh, from this app or other people. You could watch other people do their thing on there too. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and click on record screen. And there's a bunch of different things that you could do. As you can see, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and click on is the format. I like to do MP4 so I could edit the videos in an editor on my computer after I'm done with it. Um, next, the orientation, we have portrait, landscape, home button to left, home button to right, and portrait upside down. I usually always do home button to right which is like this, which if you're making videos for YouTube, you want it like this uh, so the screen is wide and it doesn't show up and down with those black sp spaces um, on the sides of your video. That's not good, you don't want that. That makes the quality look pretty bad. And then there's also resolution. Always do 1080p as long as your device can hold it well enough. And if you have a newer one, it should. And then there's a the bit rate, which I'm just gonna leave like that for now. So whenever you go ahead, and get ready to start recording. Well, let's put in a title of the video first. I'm just gonna type in tutorial. That's good enough. And then after that, you go ahead, start recording. And then um, also, if you haven't let this app access your microphone, make sure you go and do that. I have not yet done that yet. Um, obviously, if you're in the app already, it should ask you right away, but I'm gonna give it access to the microphone. If you do not do that, it will not let you start recording. 
So once again, let's go ahead, click on your screen, tutorial, and start recording. Now, obviously, this is where it asks you to turn assistive touch on. Mine is already on, yours should already be on. If you're ready for it, you just press OK. And um, now it is recording. As you can see, make sure you have it. Um, home button to the right, which is over here. Then all you do is back out of here. You can go into any games. Uh, the quality of this is really nice. We're just gonna swipe it a few times like that. Go on the internet, do whatever you want. And um, after you're done, you just double click, go back into the app, press stop. Now after you press stop, this thing up in the top right corner, this is a little new if you had the old Shao app, you go into the top right cor corner, and as you see, tutorial.mp4, 29 seconds long. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you to show you uh, the quality of the video. Make sure we don't have it in the wrong way or anything. Um, obviously, the microphone's on, so I'm gonna turn that down so you really can't hear that. Um, but let's wait until I back out, and so you could actually see exactly what it looks like. Like I said, I've tried it out before, the quality is really good. It swipes really nice. As you can see, there's not any lag there whenever I'm swiping pages or anything like that. We're going into the internet, up and down. Beautiful screen recorder, and it's free. That's the best part about it. So after you have that, if you want to, uh, say you want to put it on your computer or something to edit it, or you want to put it up to YouTube, make sure you save it to camera roll. And then from there, you can put it on your computer. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Make sure you go download this screen recorder. It's amazing. It works great. It works spectacular. Uh, that's the broadcast thing right there if you want to do that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, please hit that like button. Share with everybody so everybody can take advantage of this free screen recorder for their iOS device. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you all for 4,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can get up to 5,000 very, very shortly. This channel is growing so fast. I'm so excited about that. So thank you so much for that. This is your boy, Pizza Boy 2013 Deuces.